so in this video we are going to fetch the data from javascript so come to the code and uh, since we have all the data in the data.json file so you can see like it contain id company logo and role name so we will be using uh, like uh, here is logo so we can use that by like jobs.logo and this is the job title so we can use this by job dot role name so let me come here in the main.js and instead of displaying on cars i can make a function which will display display jobs and i can provide this job in these jobs which i get from fetch jobs to this function and uh, i can define this function here so it's uh, async function or we'll just leave it is uh, normal because we don't need async functionality here so this function is let us close this copy this function name and this function will take jobs jobs and uh, in this function we will run a for loop like uh, jobs dot map i hope you know map function so map function basically like if i type function and job and this means that uh, like it will iterate over the jobs it will iterate over all the jobs and one by one all the jobs will come in this job variable and we can use this variable here so here i can i can add a html so let's define a variables first so let job html job html will be equal to just say a string sorry okay just a string and we will be appending the html all the html which is here so firstly copy this card html and copy this come to main.js and let's uh, let make another variable call this ages for temporary and here make this back ticks and uh, paste here okay so name this to job html and uh, call this inner html and come down so in the job html we have this html now we have to append this html to this card section so currently we don't need card but uh, if user come we can display the empty card and after that uh, whenever javascript loaded then the all cards will transform into this job card so we need to select this job tile because all the cards are in this job tile so we can use query selector for this like uh, let me split it and here document dot query selector query selector and here i can type the class name so class name is job tiles and uh, store it in a variable so let job tiles equal to so we have stored this query into our job tiles and come here let me see actually we have to do it 
after the function so do it here and uh, we have job tiles we have inner html now we can append this job html to our inner html so come here and after it after it store all this html into this job html we can append this html into inner html so inner html plus equal to and this job html job html so all this html will be appended to inner html every time this loop is executed and this loop is executed for the amount of jobs like if we have seven jobs in our json file then this loop is, will executed seven times and we have seven cards in our job tiles okay after that since now we can job tiles equal to in html so when this loop will complete i can set this inner html into this job tile so copy this job select this job tiles and dot inner html equal to inner html okay so we have assigned all the everything inside this inner html to this job tile so let me revise this again but firstly let's change the value dynamically so in place of logo we can change the logo here so if i come to data.json so for we have logo here and this logo is basically from some urls so since we have this job i can use job job dot logo and i can provide a dollar symbol here so that it will treat this as a variable okay and copy this and let's see where is our title so here is the title so paste it to all name and now we need description so description is basically in the let's see where is this description passionate about technology so we can choose content as the description so come here in the description and select this description after that put a dollar symbol here like this and job dot content but before content we content is basically inside this requirement so we have to put the requirement also okay now we have the requirement and i think this is enough to show on the cards one is logo and role name and description so if i save this and see if it's working okay we have not load the javascript so let's see so it says show jobs and show jobs basically call get all the data from fetch jobs and use display jobs to show all the data display jobs change the inner html and uh, i think everything is working properly let's see why this is not working refresh this now let me inspect this what is the problem so inner html is not defined as display job let me see if it's inner html so this is this is the inner html i misspelled this save this now let's see okay perfect let me see the console console is clear 
so we have these jobs but uh, they are very like uh, overflowing from the content and uh, th i think this is the url which is overflowing so let's see how why this is doing so so come to our job icons and in the job icon i have provided logo and if i see here so this is basically a div tag where i have used job dot logo and job dot logo returns me uh, a urls a url like if i see so job dot logo contain a url so i have to put this url in the image src tag so come here and in place of logo i can use image and i can type here logo now save this and i can do the same by copying this to our javascript file so in place of logo i can do it like like this and in the source i will put let's put a dollar symbol here and like this so it will be job dot logo and save this and let's see if it's working or not okay the logo size has been increased we have to fix this also so inspect this element and select this logo so this is the logo we have to provide a height and width to this so height will be let's say 100 percent and width will be 100 percent also we have this logo container so we can give height and width to this logo container so height will be it let's say try 100 percent first and uh, i think 100 percent is perfect height for this so let's uh, try to apply apply this attribute so we have this class logo we can select this class here so in the main dot css we have container logo icons yeah these are the icons and this is the i tag so here i can copy this class and in the card icons we have a class called logo so logo we have the height of 100% and after logo we have let's see this image image tag so okay i think we don't need to change the image tag because okay so image tag has around 100 100% height and width so in the logo we have image and height is here 100 percent width is 100 percent and uh, as you can see it's it's perfectly fit so close this and now we can make the icons these i think there is there we need to change the height of text also this title box so let's see how we can do that but since this video is taking too long so that i will explain 
explain you how to do that in the next video so thanks for watching and see you in the next video